This video explains how to measure the diameter of a bearing journal accurately to within five hundred thousandths of an inch or one thousandth of a millimeter. This critical step will determine if the shaft needs any repairs for proper bearing fitment. The topics covered include the tools and supplies we'll need, how to validate the micrometer accuracy, the minimum number of measurement locations, and how to measure the bearing journal. As always, follow your organization's safety practices and procedures. To measure a bearing journal, you'll need a few tools and supplies. A lint-free cloth, a calibrated 3-inch micrometer, a micrometer stand for that 3-inch micrometer, a 6-inch machinist scale, and a permanent marker. You will also need ESA's mechanical repair report or other data card your service center uses and the ANSI ESA AR100 standard for radial ball and roller bearing shaft diameter tolerances. Before taking any measurements, make sure that the shaft is clean. To select the appropriate micrometer and standard for our precision measurements, we will first need to know the approximate diameter of the bearing journal. An easy way to determine that is with a machinist scale. Since the approximate diameter of the bearing journal is three inches, or 76 millimeters, we'll need a micrometer and a micrometer standard that is at least that capacity for our precision measurements. A minimum of three measurements approximately 120 degrees apart along a single plane will be required. A single plane measurement is usually sufficient on 200 or 300 series bearings. Wider bearings may require more measurement planes. On sleeve bearing machines, it's not uncommon to have three measurement planes with three diameter measurements per plane. Use the number of measurement locations specified by your service center or the customer, whichever is more stringent. Starting with a point of reference like top dead center or the edge of a keyway, determine where your first mark will be. Then mark and label each measurement location using a permanent marker. Select the appropriate size micrometer and micrometer standard for measuring the journal diameter approximated earlier. This micrometer measurement standard and bearing journal must be within 2 degrees Fahrenheit of the same temperature to measure the journal diameter with the accuracy required. Use a calibrated micrometer with an accuracy resolution of 500 thousandths of an inch or one thousandth of a millimeter. Wipe the micrometer with a lint-free cloth. Validate the calibration of the micrometer by using the standard and comparing the results to the dimensions stamped on the standard. Recalibrate the micrometer if necessary. Now measure the diameter of the bearing journal with the micrometer at one of the marked locations and record the dimensions on the ESA mechanical repair report form or your shop paperwork. Then measure the remaining locations and record those dimensions and locations as well. If traceability is required, be sure to record the precision or equipment number for the standard and the micrometer on your paperwork as applicable. To ensure accuracy, validate calibration by measuring the standard again and comparing it with the result with the diameter dimension stamped on the standard. If the micrometer is out of calibration after taking your journal measurements, then those measurements are considered inaccurate and must be repeated with a calibrated micrometer. The final step is to verify that the journal dimensions measured with the calibrated micrometer correspond with those in the ANSI ESA AR100 standard. If any measurement is out of specification, the shaft will require mechanical repairs to ensure proper bearing fitment. 